who we need. Have you seen that new building they're putting up downtown next to the Henderson building? Yeah, it's terrible. Such an eyesore. I know, it's awful. Positively grotesque. What? What did you just say? Oh, I, I was talking about how awful the building is. No, no, the specific word you used at the end of that last sentence. Grotesque? Oh, we need it is. It's no exaggeration. No, but you, you see, the thing is, it's pronounced grotesque. Really? Grotesque? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it is. No. But next you're going to tell me that barbecue is pronounced barbec. <laughs> no, that's different. That's because it's spelled C-U-E, not Q-U-E. Yeah? Then why is the abbreviation for barbecue BBQ and not BBC? It's because the C-U-E part is pronounced Q. No, that, that doesn't make sense. It must be Q. I mean, if you ask me what's on the BBQ, I'm likely to say hamburgers. But if you ask me what's on the BBC, I'll probably say it's Dr. World Health Organization. Dr. what? Oh, you know, Dr. WHO. I thought I'd use the full title instead of the acronym. <laughs> no, but Maggie, that's a word. Dr. Who? It's not an acronym. I'm pretty sure it's WHO. I mean, newscasters are always talking about the WHO and not the WHO. I mean, unless they're talking about the rock band, I suppose. No, I'm sure it's a word. WHO. You know, like, who's on first? Enid, we're not doing this. Well, anyway. It's grotesque, period. Period? Oh, I think you mean full stop, Enid. Well, we are in Canada, Maggie. We should adopt some of the vocabulary of the colonies. Oh, I don't think so. We need to train them in our ways. You know, I tried doing that with a friend. And one time after a big meal, she said to me, You know, Enid, I think this meal has given me petrol. Ooh. <laughs> She'd be a billionaire if she could do that. Well, a thousand millionaire at any rate. Oh, so you want to adopt the vocabulary of the colonies, but not their names for big numbers? Oh, you got me there, you sneaky devil. All right, billionaire. She'd be the Jeff Bezos of petroleum production. Well, I think it's pronounced Bezos. Oh, that's impossible. You don't say Jesus, do you? But I saw a video of him pronouncing it Bezos. So? How would he know any better than I do? Well, he's a lot richer than Jesus, so I think he gets to pick. Oh, the privileges of the rich. They bend the language to their own will. Yeah, they get to pronounce oppression of women and trans kids as Texas. Struth, Enid.